Some nine months following the president's nuclear deal with Iran, Congress has learned that the Joint Commission charged with implementation issued waivers to Iran in order to make them compliant, says Georgia Senator David Perdue. As you know, I was outspoken against the Iran deal. Um, number one, uh, I was very concerned that it sent a pathway for Iran, that if they just uh, went by the agreement that over the next decade or so, they would become qualified and capable of a nuclear capability. Now we find out that the United States actually issued waivers on some of the prerequisites for implementation day. Purdue has joined with Oklahoma Senator James Langford to author legislation to strengthen oversight of the Joint Commission that's supposed to monitor the nuclear deal. Senator Langford and I put a bill in that would basically give us more oversight, more insight, and more transparency uh, into uh, the details of this, this agreement and what the administration has already done. Uh, we know they bought uh, the heavy water, so you know, this, these are very troubling uh, issues regarding uh, not just the deal itself, but how we actually are administering it. The more Congress knows about the deal, the worse it looks, says Jim Phillips of the Heritage Foundation. The Obama administration knew it was going to face tremendous resistance to this nuclear deal with Iran, even among Democrats. So it structured the deal as an executive agreement instead of a treaty. And that way, it's kind of done an end run around Congress and, by extension, the American people. But the more we find out about this deal, the worse it looks. Many members of Congress now feel that the administration misrepresented the Iran nuclear deal, says Phillips. There are many congressional leaders that are increasingly incensed that the administration uh, has clearly hidden el elements of this deal from Congress and from the American people. Phillips says that it turns out that the administration has used the Joint Commission, made up of the U.S. and other countries, as a screen to hide information on the deal from Congress and from the American people. John Hines, One American News, Washington.